Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here again, back for another crafty video. So, a couple of things to just say. I am recovering from COVID, um, and therefore I might have to pause and stop the video so that I can cough, etc. Or I might just have to edit it out or whatever it is. So, um, and I can't do some of the things that I was going to do because it's too. It makes too much dust and. I, I can't have I can't bring anything in at the minute of air I'm struggling with so so I'm going to work on this I haven't managed to print any things to go inside so um I don't have enough of this uh to put inside which is what I wanted to do um and as soon as I've got some I will do the inside so what we'll, we're going to do is we're going to focus on a bit of closure so i don't mean closure as in i'm finishing this by any means what i mean is we're going to look at a way of making a closure so i've been kind of toying with some ideas because you, you can tell from this whole thing it's all a bit different it's got a bit a bit of quirk to it etc so i thought what i'd quite like to do is to have a some bit of a different way of closing this up now you're going to just kind of have to um, suspend your disbelief um, for the time being because you'll be like, oh, I don't understand what he's doing, etc. So this is the concept I came up with. Now, this I've ripped this because I was, I was trying to do something with it. So what I've come up with, this is not the finished piece either. This, um, this is just the concept is I would have a wraparound. So that would be glued to the back there and this would come round like this. This would be on here well or something similar would be on here or oh, let me get the other piece otherwise you won't I won't have a clue what I'm talking about let me just put that into shot not sorry take that out of shot for a minute okay so what it would be is this would be here this would come over like this and then this slides down and then locks this bit into place and the reason why it's got a bit of give there is then that allows for a bit more capacity for it to expand a little um, and also it stops putting so much strain on the slot so this slot has like an l shape this one originally had an l shape but i wasn't happy with it and this is just going to have an up and down so this comes down locks it into place but then this one so let's put that back like that so this slot comes down sits there so it doesn't go either way on this plate but then this plate just moves that way and kind of locks it into place and that way then it's not just going to fall back open again um so that i think that's what i'm going to do but rather than using black card i am going to use some um I've, I've what i've done is i've made some more of my um rusted pieces so <coughs> <coughs> apologies i had to cough it comes on all of a sudden and then i get into a, a loop of coughing and i can't get out of it i have to wait until it stops so um but this isn't thick enough so that's the reason why i've got this piece blank black card just to make it thicker so, and that was the same with this I, I glued two sheets of black card together to make it more rigid so i've got this that i some more that i did um and I think I'm going to use this for it. So in order to use this, first of all, what I'm going to have to do is stick it back it. I don't know whether I want to do all of it at the same time, though. I think what I might do. Do I want the one with the with the copper on? Or do I want the, the one without the copper on? I'll use the one without the copper on. That's This is my favourite one. So this kind of got dribbly and streaky, and I really liked the way that worked. So... I don't know whether I should cut the pieces down and then back them. I think I'll cut them down and back them first. So, what did I use? So, I used... So, I think I'm going to use this same style of wrap. I might make it a little bit shorter either end. Um, but I, I kind of want to make sure it makes a nice bond, if you know what I mean. Um, and I think this one should be double back. So, you know, when you open it up, you can see the copper inside as well 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one down first and then we'll go from there. So this video never makes it to air, it's because it didn't work. So, And unfortunately, coughing seems to be my enemy at the minute. Talking is my other enemy because that's what makes me cough. So this is two and a half wide. I'm going to stick with the two and a half wide. I was happy with that. So I'm going to go two and a half wide and the full length of it. And I'm just going to cut that down now. So, uh, do you want to cut the black card at the same time? Possibly. I'll do that now. So, I want to go two and a half wide. So, on that bit. That's two and a half, isn't it? Yep. And cut that. So, that's going to be one of them. And then I want another one at two and a half wide. And then I don't know, I haven't decided what I want with the backing plates yet. So I go two and a half wide there. Cool. So the backing plates I thought were a little bit big. Let me just bring this back into shot and I'll see, show you what I mean. But bear in mind, this is all my prototype stuff. So that's going to sit around there. I'm happy with the, how thick that they are. I think they're kind of proportionate to the I don't know where the other one is so I can't show you that um I did have two but who knows um so one here and one at the top I thought that was about right I didn't I thought about having one just in the middle but I wasn't sure whether one in the middle might be strong enough do you know what I don't know I can't I can't decide whether one in the middle is going to be sufficient for it. Um, no, I'm going to do the two. The two, like I, I said. So, one at the bottom, one at the top. Um, but I thought the plates were a little bit big. But they have to be... So, because it's got a slide mechanism, it has to have glue either side of it to hold it down. But it can't have glue it, it, at this point because it will stop the mechanism from sliding. So it needs to be, it needs to come this far over in order to give me enough space to glue. So I'd want about an inch of glue width down there. I need to have a bit at the top and a bit at the bottom to be able to glue down, but obviously you can't get in the way of the channel. Um, and you need a, at least another inch on the other side. So it needs to be at least that same diameter. And then this one, because this locks into place, it needs to be a bit longer. So, I don't want it to shit sit. I don't want it to sit short of this. Um, so you know, I don't want it to be so that it sticks out like that when it's locked into place. At least I don't think I do anyway. So, I think if I used the same size as this, I might have it a little less deep that here, so it sits more like that. Mm. I would want it to sit more like that anyway. So that it's in the middle of. But if it's in the middle of it, then the slide thing won't ever clear the space. So, no, we're going to have it like this, Dave, and be done with it. So, and then I want to, I don't, perhaps not have it quite come across here quite so far. Although I could have it so that it's glued down here an inch. And then have like a pocket here and you can have something to tuck in here. I guess that's something else I could do. I think maybe for now I'm just going to keep it the same size. So this is like definitely Dave hasn't decided anything. This is just Dave's just going for it. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it that way. Or would it be better that way? What? I don't know what that... Um, I can't remember how big this was. So this is six inches by four inches. So six by four. I'm gonna go shorter than that, Dave. So this sits well, it's about two inches away from the slot, and then this if that's up two inches away from the slot. 
that would come to there. I don't know. It may be there, but I don't. Maybe I don't want the slot that big. Look, just leave it this size, Dave. <laughs> sorry, sorry, not sorry. All of that, all of that jazz. So what I'm going to do now: stick the first layer. It looks like a nebula, doesn't it? I'm going to stick this to here. Now I don't know what to do. I want it to have make a good grip a good grip but I want it to be flexible do I do I deploy the Xyron deploy the Xyron yeah. I don't get the Xyron out very much because I'm afraid of using it all up um, but you can tell I don't get it out very much because it's dusty um, but I love this thing if only I could get more sticky, gluey bits. I'd be so happy, but gluey, sticky, gluey bits. By by that, I mean, um, what do I mean? I don't know what I mean. I won't put those in just yet. Oh, shall I? No, let's put, let's put these in. Uh, no, that won't go in there. Um... Sticky glue bits. What am I talking about, Dave? See, told you. No, no memory whatsoever. Uh, the sticky gluey bits. Uh, cartridge. A new cartridge. <laughs> sorry if I'm annoying today. Well, I'm not annoying anyway, but like, sorry if I'm more annoying today than usual because my marbles are missing. It would be a case for Miss Marple, or oh, actually, or it could be a case for Miss Marble. So, the case of the missing marbles. There we go. Let's do that one. And I'll do these. Squeaky squeak. And then we've just got this one, which would be a, a waste to put it in like that. Maybe I'll just put stick that on some other way. There's going to be a few edits in this because of my coughing. So, but that's the way it is. I can't believe I've had COVID again. I was like, the gift that keeps on giving, well, the gift that you don't want them to keep giving. The gift they need to keep find the receipt for because I want to give it back. So, um, and because I can't have another um, vaccination for it because I am not counted as being vulnerable in a health sense, so I don't get. Uh, called in for my top-up vaccination, so I just have to deal with it. It's a shame, because like, if they offered me a, another vaccine, I'd go for it, so, because I definitely feel by having had COVID stroke, maybe this was not a good idea, having had COVID stroke, um, What's the other? What? what no, not COVID. Yeah, COVID stroke. Um, having a vac, having had the vaccine, I definitely think my recovery is quicker. I mean, I've had, obviously, had this COVID, um, and I've had it for a few days. But last time I had it, I had it for a few weeks. So that's not, that one's not sticky. That's why I can't build the back off that one. Scoreboard. This and we go five and three quarters. Is that going to be what we want? Yeah, five and three quarters. So stop saying it, Dave. Just do it. So that's going to be the back piece. 
fold there. So that's going to be the back panel. And then I can't remember how big the this bit was, this fold. Was that? That was a one and a quarter. That's five and a quarter. Five and three quarters, sorry. And then that's a quarter and then one. So there. So if we do that, so we do we're gonna do five and three quarters and then seven is my next score. So I'll remember for that. Hopefully I'll remember that for the next bit. If I do it now, I should remember it. So this is going to stick to here, to the back of there, like so. This is going to come round, and it's going to come round to the front, okay. And this is going to come onto here. Okay, so it's going to sit like that, hopefully. So we need this thing to clear the... So it needs to, no, it needs to be further down than that. Because it needs to clear the slot that it's going to have. So do I have that in there? I don't know now. I say I don't know now, I mean I didn't know anyway, so I think it should go about there. Yeah, so I'm going to put a mark there. So that's where I think that's that should go. And then if I line it up with there, so I now need This is the problem when you're a pioneer of something. You've got nobody's nobody else's ideas to go by. So you just have to trust in your judgment. Uh oh. <laughs> so I need that to come down to about the middle of there. I will check test wherever the middle of there is. So that's gonna come down to there. And obviously it's going to be a slot, so we're just going to use the lead edge first. So that's going to come to there. So we need to know the middle of this is, what's the middle of this? So the middle of this is, oh, we, it was two and a half and then we cut it down, didn't we? <laughs> so half of two and a half is one and a quarter. The last time I was at school, it was anyway. Could have changed anything's possible. So one, oh, that's not bad from where it, I put it. So one and a quarter is there. So I need to come down one and a quarter from where that line stops. One and a quarter. So that's not going to be that line. That's going to be the line. So. Just put a line in, a light line. No, that's so light I can't even see it. There we go. And then we're going to come down one and a quarter from where that stops. So that's going to stop to stop at there. So we'll just put that line in properly now. And that's where my so my hole needs to stop there and there. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to line the two together. Oh dear, where did the, I can't remember. What? No, let's put this, let's put this hole in first. So we're going to put a hole in. Are we doing this, Dave? Are we? If you don't do it now, it'll never happen. So we'll make a hole in it. So I'm going to use my anywhere hole thing. 
gonna poke the stuff out that's inside it already. So he says he's going to, but chances are he might not be able to because he might not be able to find his pokey tool. Yeah, pokey, 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 pokey. Where the heck is my pokey tool? It's there. So let's push them like that, it should all come out. Cool. Scoot them onto the floor because, like, I've got somebody to do it for me. I don't. So then we're going to pop that on there and we're going to line it up. Now I know you can't see any of this, but you kind of just have to trust me. So what I did was I put it right at the bottom of that pencil mark and then just went for it. But it had to go a bit more because it's a couple of sheets of cardboard, isn't it? So of course I could use oh no Dave, you've completely gone off piece now. Oh well, you're gonna have to leave it like that, Dave. What you get for letting go of it. Um and then we're going to make this line that is no longer a line because I've just made a stupid mistake. Oh well. So I'm going to join that line. Up to the top. So it's not going to be perfect, but you know, did we expect it to be? No. And join that line up. That's now what was a pencil line is now going to be a cut line. It's a little bit of a tail in there. I need to just snip out of it snap out of it. There's a bit of a bump there that will get in the way of the mechanism. The only problem with this is the mechanism has to be quite straight otherwise it will snag. And then of course I want the lock bit so I'm going to have the lock bit come this way but I could do with using a standard size. So we're going to use this, which is a quarter of an inch. So we're going to have a hole that sits a quarter of an inch this way. So, oh, this is getting confusing. So it's going to be there somewhere, but we need it to be at a right angle. So I've got this that will make it a right angle, haven't we? Yeah. Is it that way? Is it that way? Oh, that's supposed to go. Doesn't matter really. So we need this. Right, let's make that line longer. We need this to come this way. And that'll be just our lock then. So I think I'm going to put that on the middle of there. Is that in the middle? Is it in the middle? Is it in the middle? Right. And don't lose focus this time, Dave. Slowly. And then you can build up speed when you're almost finished tunneling. There we go. That's better. Much better, Dave. Much more controlled. And then we can join those lines up. And hopefully you'll have understood what I'm doing. So I'm making an L shape because we want a lock on this side. We want it to kind of lock into place. So we've got an L shape on this one. And on this one it's just going to be a slot that just comes down to the same distance from a distance the world looks blue and green 
and the hilltop mountains white. Is that the middle? Do we want the this bit? I have a I have a thinner pencil this time. I'm going to use a bearing pencil. So we're going to kind of just draw that shape. No, I want it to be straight. So draw that shape in. And that's going to go all the way up there, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to put the circular bit there. And then what I'm going to use, I'm going to use these for the templates for the other ones. So that's gone through. And then I need a circular thing at the end of this one. But I've got to leave room for glue as well. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect these two holes. This one was easier because this is just a straight slot. Okay, so that's what we've got. So we've got this that's going to sit. This is going to be the face. And then this is going to be over here like this. We'll slide it down. And then this will then lock into place. So that's the kind of mechanism I'm going for anyway. So what I was thinking is to make it easier to get into that. I might round those corners. If I can get my punch through it, that's the only thing. Because the three l layers of paper. Now I've had a circle, a corner rounder somewhere. So what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of replicate that on this one and this one. So if I line this up with that, decide which way round I'd like that. Yeah, I definitely want that kind of looking like it's running down. So I'm going to have that there. I'm just going to pencil in that line. So it curves at the top there, curves at the bottom there, and then we're just going to do trace that line. And that way then we should get them to be fairly much the same place. Um, I'm going to have them. So the other thing I can't had contemplated is do I want one to come down and lock and one to go up and lock. But the problem is if you go up and lock, the, going the up, you're standing it up, it'll just drop back down again. So they're both using gravity for their to their benefit. I'm going to ink round the edge of this one. Like the ink round the other one. Um so trying to put them the other way up would have been a bit of a technical challenge, really. I am going to have to blow my nose. And then last piece. It's the final piece. Cool. And I do not have my marbles. Yes, we have no bananas. We have no bananas or marbles. All the way around, just. 
just make sure it's all nice and pinky 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 pie right okay so <laughs> this is me thinking oh heck let's hope this works now <coughs> oh you know what i'm missing though the slider i cannot stick this down without putting the slider in so sliders i have here's one i made earlier so these were ones that i made a long long time ago these were made a whole load of these um all sorts of different things that i've made this is kind of my oddments box and stuff and uh, these are made from these things these are called uh paper binder binders and washers so these are these little things and they come with these little washers that normally would sit oh dear can't get the box the bag open and I, I made these a long long time ago in a video um not the binders obviously but I made the decorative things and they sit in there and they kind of bind two pieces of paper together like that but they also work splendidly for these such occasions so i could put that through there and use this metal thing on the back but the metal thing i found to be really clunky and not quite as smooth flowing as i was what i was hoping it would be so what i did was i just used uh, these as they were and then got a bit of scrap card and i've got some obviously scrap card everywhere except for wherever i need it scrap card there we go a bit of scrap card and i took my circle punch which hopefully won't be in the same place as my um which it may well be in the same place as my other punch oh I've, I, do you know told you i'd find it it was this was hiding it so i'm gonna clip that i'm just gonna do one of them each okay um was it was it just one yeah so just one oh no sorry i'll do two i'm gonna do another two Okay, so we'll come to those in a minute. I was going to say, actually, now will that go through there? Let's try it on a piece of this cardboard. If it doesn't go through this, it won't go through. Oh, it does. So, will that go through there? Is this going to be the right thing to do? Well, I've done it now. Didn't do it very well, but I did it. Right, see what we're doing now. There we go. So, can I get that in there? I can. And why won't this one clip now? Why won't it do it? Because, of course, it's going to be one of those situations where if it went right it wouldn't be right so we're gonna to have to do that now on this one and the reason why i wanted the small one you see i can get in in that space without all this this all getting in the way oh uh, everything avalanches now with the vibrations. There we go. Cool. Right. Okay. So I've done it now. Um. There we go. Get my inky thing. That inky thing on that one as well. Right. So what I did now was. I took these and these are going to go through here and you have to put them you have to assemble it first otherwise 
you know you can't get these in afterwards after you've glued it all down so they're going to go in like this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a hole in here with a oh there you go with my croppy croppy dial cro crocodile not crocodile do i'm just going to make a hole in this with a crocodile um i'm going to put two together because i'm going to need two anyway i'm just going to make a hole in the center or the center ish if you're not if you're not worried about it not being the center just like i'm not i'm going to do that and that's going to be the back bit now i need to have a leave it a little bit so that it's got some give because what you don't want to do is you don't want to get to this bit where you put sliding this over it and it it's too tight and you can't get it to slide down so we need to leave a bit of a space and then we're going to do I'm going to fold these over either side so i just want to make sure that that works before i do anything i'm going to stick that on there let's put that on and then that's going to slide down. Yep, that slides down. Lovely. And then we're going to take the blank one. I'm going to put that on the back of that. I'm going to glue those two pieces together. Obviously, we're not gluing this down to that. Otherwise, it's not going to slide. So I'm going to gently glue and turn. Not bend and snap. Actually, my bend and snapping days are well over. If I bend, everything snaps. And then I'm going to stick, so I've put a bit of glue over the, the metally bit. I'm going to stick that down to the metally bit first. And then I'm going to have to take my ruler. It was a, a ruler. And I'm going to stick that underneath that other layer. I'm going to pinch that bit together. And I'm, oh, it's not going to do it now. This is the bit that this is the well rehearsed bit, but like this is the bit that's not obviously not going to work now. Pinch that together onto the other side, right under both circles. And what I'm doing is I'm gluing the two circles together either side of the split pin. Hopefully, except for why won't it glue? Because it's camera shy, that's why it won't glue. because nothing goes right when you're trying to do something on camera and it's not like I can take it off to do it because it has to be already threaded through the thing right maybe I'm trying to do too many things at the same time oh Dave what a surprise Dave doing things too many things at the same time there we go And then that way then it's kind of sandwiched in and that way then if that if it does turn on its axis that it's not just going to slot back out again because there is the potential that this is the same thickness as that and it could just fall out so i put that on and that's our little mechanism now hopefully that will go together still hold it over kind of that's how it'll be this will slide down oh dave we've left enough space is there enough space now that's the problem all right let's try again there does that slide down it does that's fine it slides down and then that'll lock into place like that cool okay so that's fine that's that one this one needs to do the same with where did my little circle go and my plain black one that no dave can't do that first no can't do that first either put it on there Don't put these in the way you see what i mean they're kind of it it's bent over very cl much clear of that cardboard so there's a gap 
at the back. Let's just twist that round a bit. Oh, Dave, except for you you're being an idiot and you're just racing ahead and trying to get to the finish line and, you know, all of that stuff that you should have learnt in school. More haste, less speed, blah, 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 da, 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 da. And either side. Uh, not that round. I had a weird dream the other night. I dreamt I was back in the 80s. So that was horrific. <laughs> Don't want to go back to the 80s, thanks. Um, that was when I was young and full of angst. It wasn't teenage angst. Well, it, some of it was teenage angst, but a lot of it was adult angst. Young adult angst, but still a lot of angst. More angst than you can shake a rabid squirrel at. I don't know. Don't ask me. Cool. There we go. So, and that one's going to go on that. Let's just make sure that, that works too. That slides down over there. Yeah, it does. Cool. Okay, so now to us ensemble, uh, ensemble, assemble, even. So how are we going to have this? I think maybe we should try and do a uh, some kind of a measurement. Let's flip it over for now. So this is the back. And we're going to want it to come like this, and we want it to be how far away from the the. So let's say two inches up. Is that going to be about right? If that's two inches up, that's about two inches down. Yep, that looks about right. And then does that get, if that's two inches up? That's true. Let's flip this over. You've got to think of this bit on the front. So two inches up. is going to go in there. This needs to line up on that bit there. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, so two inches up from the back. So we'll do that. So two inches, we'll do a bit of a line. Two inches, a bit of a line. And then we'll glue it on that bit. That's going to be the right way up, isn't it? That's, yep. Yeah. That's going to glue to there. So, just going to go for it now. Nothing stopping me now. Nothing's going to stop us now. And if this world runs out of lovers, we'll still have each other. I've just realised I wanted to cut that bit out. Not a wi not a wise idea, by the way. Putting this, putting wet glue in your corner chomper. Not a wise idea. Changing tack now. It's done. What is done is done. I'm going to do those as well while I'm. <laughs> no, he's not. Is he? Oh my gosh. I wasn't sure whether that was me or the punch that made that noise. Why does nothing ever go the way it planned it? Why does it all have to go wrong or not 
right, which is wrong, do you? Now we're going to stick it down this time. Always good to have a hole, a hole, a hole, a false start. Oh, Dave. Don't. there and we'll do two two up from this one as well I'm doing the same with this one let's chomp the corners before we decide to glue it down Dave So I thought if I put this on first, then this will dictate where the front plates need to go. That's uh, about that much away. Where the line is there. About there. There we go. So that's going to be that. So now we can flip this over. Is that the right way up? Oh, it is. Thank goodness for that. A moment there. Just had a moment there. So I've left it so that it's quite deep, so that it can. We know it's quite gapy already, and we know that we've got put stuff in it yet. So that's the reason why it was like that. I am going to clip these corners now that I've decided to do it with the others. That one's also got a bit of a lead edge, is a in black, so I might just cut that bit off. Yeah, that's better. Everything just gets jammed. We're jamming, jamming, jamming. What's your name? Bob Marley. I hope you like jamming too. don't have the strength anymore <laughs> I don't have the strength all my strength has used has been used upon fighting COVID I don't oh look there's another one a bit of the black edge there so a bit there as well cut that bit off 
which means I might just have to ink that bit. Do the same on that. I'm cutting these corners off. I think I'm cutting a few corners, isn't it? I was always taught you should never cut corners, but in this case. Please just thank you. No, let's do that way up there. Oh, it's not cut the corner properly. Why has it done that? No, I'm still not done it properly. Better. Much better, right. Hopefully I've cut some of that out so you didn't have to watch me struggle. So, these are the bits that are going to come round. I think I'm going to have the start, well, the one that says start, I'll have that at the top. So, what I want to do is, I want to make sure that it doesn't stick out too far. So it's got to be there, so it's coming down to here. So if it goes up to there, did I leave enough space at the top for it to slide out the way? Did I? It's going to have to be enough. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is, I am going to commit and glue. So I'm not actually going to put a top bit of glue across the top bit. Because this just sits right up close to here and I don't want to, I don't want to be in a situation where it's going to go horribly wrong. So let's cut that bit of metal off. Or not. Do I have a pair of pliers, Dave? No, do I? Heck. I don't know where that went. Might have got in me tea. Who knows? But I'm just going to cut that off so that it's not going to harpoon anybody. I'm going to glue all the way over on this side to make sure it's got a fully secured edge. And you know, it's the first time I've done this, so. Which way around is it? I can't remember. It's that way around, isn't it? Um, so I'm not going to have that little pocket like I thought I was going to have because I want to make sure it's completely glued down. And, you know, the first time we've done it, we're living and we're learning. And I'm going to glue that bit there, but I'm going to leave all of that space for the free movement of this. So this one's going to go at the top. I'm going to line that up with that hole first and then I'm going to just bring it over glue it down wherever it kind of feels like it should be which is a little bit away from the edge which is good to about there fine okay so I'm going to pull it a little bit so that it puckers a little bit in the middle so that it's got this freely moves. So that's going to come over like this and that's going to lock into place like that but we won't do it at this very moment in time because the glue isn't dry Dave so leave it be. 
on this one the same again we're just going to snip off that extra bit of spike same with that and that's going to sit out of the way that's going to go about there again that's going to sit a little bit away from the edge good excellent and the glue is hiding as they do so this has become a bit of an epic video from my recording perspective but i will try and cut it down so that it's less epic for you guys Again, we need to line that bit up like that up with the with the hinge itself a little bit away from the edge stick it down pull it together a little bit I'm just pushing it in just so that we've got a bit of a, a, a gap here. So, so that's that. So let's just clear the decks while I, while I clear the decks. I'll come back to you guys and hopefully it'll all be glued and stuck. Okay, so... I've tidied up a bit and um, it's the glue is hopefully now dry um, and we are in the situation where we can kind of just give it a test so it comes down over like this and we slide that down and then we do the same with that one over like this slide it down and then they should lock into place like that Lock into place, lock into place. There we go. It's nice and firm. It's not going to come apart. It's holding it together. It's a bit quirky. I like it. It's a bit nuts. It's me. So, um, yeah. So, a little bit fiddly on that top one. Um, I think it will just kind of loosen itself up as we go. I think there's a little bit of bottleneck on this bit here. But... Um, I guess I might just, yeah, that that is just a little bit too narrow, that channel. Um, but it's not horrible, and it's kind of nice and secure. It's literally just catching on there. Can you see that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be very radical, free radicals. I'm just going to put that bit off. Um, and then I'm just going to ink it so it doesn't look like I've just chopped it off. And hopefully that might make it a little bit smoother on there. Oh, much smoother. Yeah, that's much smoother. Yeah, it was just a bit catching on that bit. So there we go. That's our unusual, interesting, unusual, interesting, unusual, depends on what you, how you feel about it. Um securing mechanism nuss thing but yeah there we go so hope you like that that's just something a bit different um it's given me an idea for a another thing um that you might see later on um this week all right then that's it so thank you very much for joining me i hope you enjoyed that um if you did you know what to do give it a thumbs up share it with your friends um and leave me a comment if you wish don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again in the next video. My name is Dash of Dave and I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to. I'll see you soon. Take care. Big hugs. And don't worry, you can't get COVID through the TV. All right then, take care. Bye.